Hey, what's up? And so I am gonna take you behind the scenes of four days of me being a student in my own mastermind in Southern California in Laguna Beach. So tune in. So here's a tour of the room and I love it. It's very spacious. They have a nice setup in the bathroom to hold all of the toiletries. The wallpaper is okay. Pretty spacious bathroom though. Nice sink and no bathtub, but that's okay. I did bring my bath bombs, but I guess I will not be able to use them. So I guess I will wait until I go home. All right, we have a nice cool little closet there. And then the room is pretty nice. Um, pretty big, king size bed. Has a little couch over there. What this looks like, probably a 40 inch TV with a desk area, so if I wanted to do any videos, which more than likely I will, they have a nice little desk. They have some nice plug-ins, if this is what I was using for the day. Um, it is a nice view of the pool from here. A lot of floor space. And we have a picture, a view of the pool. Looks like somewhere over there is a lap pool, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if that. I think that is this one. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and unpack some of my stuff, get a little bit of comfortable, and then I need to actually check in with my son because I am sure he is freaking out. If you have not seen the behind the scenes video of me hosting the mastermind in Vegas, in which I got back yesterday, so I wasn't even home for 24 hours to be able to unpack, to repack, to then come to my own mastermind for four full days. My three-year-old son does not know that I'm gone, so he probably came home looking, playing hide-and-go-seek, and I was nowhere to be found. He is three. He does not understand the context that mommy has to go away to work for four days. However, something funny happened. I sent a picture of him when I was like at the training, and I guess because of the ceiling, even though it doesn't look like an airplane, I guess he just saw the ceiling, and he um, told my husband, oh, mommy's on an airplane, which clearly I was not. Um, I'm 50, 60 miles away from home, but I did not have to get on a plane this time. And he, I think he's so used to when I go for this amount of days to actually be on a plane, it's probably weird. So I'm gonna get to um, packing right now, just a little bit to get my clothes prepared for tonight and for tomorrow. And then I'm actually going to do a tour of downstairs, um, go grab some food, and really come up to my room and process all the things that I learned today in the mastermind. So let's get this party started. So I got my outfits out. Now I need to just iron them, but I'm really hungry. So I'm um, pretty casual. I'm gonna wear some jeans, a brown sweater, probably with these black tennis shoes with a nice cool white tee from H&M. And then on a different day, I'm gonna wear pretty much black with my God is Dope shirt and some ripped like black jean capris with maybe some different black shoes. And then the other day, I definitely did not overpack. I packed just enough. Um, I'm gonna wear like some black, they like jogger sweat pants with a nice white top. It's actually the same material. Got this top online somewhere, probably on Amazon. And then with my uh, green blazer. And then I did bring like two extra dresses just in case. Um, we're not doing anything extra, but sometimes if I'm not feeling a certain flow, um, I'll wear something different. However, I am going to wear the pants uh, because it's cold in that building. So I'm gonna go out and grab some food and um, then come back to the room and do a recap. Hey y'all, 
so I have just wrapped up day one of attending a mastermind as a student. Um, this is our last uh, mastermind of the year and it was definitely eye-opening in terms of the work that needs to be done specifically to move into the new year and go in um, very clear. And so um, some of my takeaways included, but you know, they're they're all written down in like 10 pages of notes plus my laptop and we have three more days is um one being very clear on the vision of my business um articulating the vision of my business to my team uh that was like one big takeaway the second uh key takeaway was to uh review my core values and really make sure that i communicate my core values to my team because of course I chose them to be part of my team because they aligned with my core values but we also want to make sure that they are going about their day-to-day -day task uh, adhering to the core values as well so that's the second thing that I need to review um, the third big area I definitely want to review is uh, communication as a leader as it relates to the communication I have with current team members really processing some things that I could have done better in the last few years regarding past team members um, because I love the analogy that my coach gives and I also share this with my students which is if something you know for example when your business goes wrong don't be so quick to blame the flower and instead look at the environment that the flower was expected to bloom in and when he first shared that in the beginning of our mastermind year it really blew my mind because as humans we tend to quickly just look at a person to point or shift blame when we really are not looking at the entire picture which also could include ourselves and so i had some serious breakthroughs um i was able to because today was what was called an integrator day i no longer have an integrator in my business however Part of the activities was uh, reviewing like communication um, throughout the year and relationships and the importance of rapport. So I really was able to reflect on all the team members that I've had over the last few years, whether it be in my solo private practice, group private practice, um, also of course in my coaching business, personal assistance, you know, you name it, I, I've had some of them, you know, but for, you know, various reasons, you know, people aren't with me anymore. And I really wanted to reevaluate how can I have, how could I have shown up better as a leader back then because my goal is to be 1% better every day. And if you are a business owner, I would encourage you to apply that uh, methodology to pretty much every part of your life, um, whether it be being a parent, even your personal life is, you know, don't look at anything in the past as more of a mistake, but look at it as a learning experience. What can you take away from that experience to make you a better and stronger person versus, of course, giving up? And I am not a person that gives up. So I'm going to get myself ready. I got to iron. Um, and then I'm going to do some homework because I assigned myself some homework. And then I'm actually relaxed because I am, um, I just returned yesterday from a three day mastermind. But of course, when you host an event, you're there the day before and the day after. And then of course you're preparing all the weeks up until. And so I can guarantee that on Friday, I'm definitely gonna be in need of a very long bath and a nap. All right, so I will see y'all on Mastermind Day 2. Hey, what is up? And so I am actually on Mastermind Day 2. I am headed to my car to then drive about maybe 15 minutes. We're gonna have breakfast and then um, jump into it. And then I actually have to leave early today because we have the Dope Therapist Academy uh, last call on delegation today, which I'm super excited about to help them just see all the possibilities when they actually delegate out tasks and then get things off their plate. And so um, it's a pretty beautiful day today. In terms of my outfit of the day, I got my DTA blazer on, casual, um, with some, if you can see them, like my little Gucci tennis shoes. Um, and also got my blanket in my backpack because it was hella cold in that spot. I should probably, oh, I was gonna take the stairs, but I guess Jesus didn't want me to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on this elevator. <laughs> Hey, what's up?
wrapped up. So I am in day two. I am um, in the same location. Um, it is nice outside. It's pretty breezy though, um, because I guess we're by the water, literally on the other side of this mountain. Um, but nevertheless, it's been an epic morning thus far. I've been here for about two hours now. And I had some serious breakthroughs as it relates to um, really thinking about how do I see my future? What are the things that need to be in place? How can I make it measurable? And more importantly, how I am getting in my own way. And so um, I scripted it out. I definitely need to flush out some stuff. I want to go talk to my husband about some stuff. I want to do some things with my team and just really make some changes um, so that I can get the outcome that I desire. And so I'm going to head back in because we only have like a 10 minute break. Um, and then we have a guest that's actually going to do a phenomenal um, second half. So I'm going to hop back in. All right, so we are headed to the bungalow to hang out. Here's Josh. <laughs> Ready, huh? You on video? Hey. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm so blogging. These two bungalows right here, indoor, all this outdoor deck space is ours as well. And there's bathrooms in there if you need them, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. I'm vlogging. Cool. <laughs> Look, she... <laughs> Look, let's get chat. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you look like you're perfect. Wait, that's all. Look it up. Hey, grateful morning. So I am on day three of the mastermind. I actually just wrapped up a um, CPA onboarding call. I just hired a new CPA firm in New York for my business. And the questions that they asked definitely just made me think about how much in this industry of mental health we don't know. Um, and this is my first time actually, I'm sorry, I'm multitasking. This is my first time actually working with a um, CPA uh, for the first time in which I had to go through like an interview, not an interview process like they had to accept me, but I mean, technically they did. And so I'm super excited. They asked a lot of questions and I'm just excited to get started. Um, what I'm doing right now, I'm actually going over the data for uh, the mastermind pop-up workshops that we're gonna have in 2022. I released three different dates thus far. We've done pretty good, we've sold half of the seats for the first two days of Vegas. Um, I actually just did some things on like the sales page. And then we also have some seats sold in New York. Um, I'm actually onboarding a new elite coaching student, our very last one um, for the year of 2022. That is a program that is offered to the mental health community in which the students work with me 10 months, January to October. We have three live masterminds in February, July, and November and for February for 2022 we're going to be at L in LA for the first time we've always been out of town because of this era in July we're actually going to be in New York so that we can service you know our east coast west coast clients and then we're going to come back to LA at the end and so um, we chose not to go with Vegas just because in this season we also found that it was pretty difficult to get a hotel to agree to book us that far out and it's interesting because if you were to have a wedding, you can book out like one to two years in advance, but it may have to do with maybe the budget, how much we're deciding to spend because I know that they have bids. And so I'm cool with that. I am very simple when it comes down to events. And when I say simple, I mean, I do decorate it pretty, you know, cute. Um, but in terms of like all th this extra technology, I don't do all that because we're, we're very interactive. We're very much present in the room. And I've noticed that when I've had slides up, like on a TV, when we were in the Vegas Aria suite, 
I didn't even use them. Like I had the, I had it up for like the pretty pretty background. I had it up to show them their picture. Um, if I needed to demonstrate something online, I would pull it up, but it was like very inconsistent. So for me to count that into the budget, when, when we can be gifting our clients like in Vegas, instead of paying for all these overhead projectors and stuff, we gifted them dinner. I'd rather do that. That's like a better experience. And so I am going to get ready to send our new student her contract and page for enrollment. And then I'm gonna actually go to Starbucks and get this day started. And so very excited to see what today holds. Yesterday and the last two days were epic. And so let's get day three started. What is up everybody? So I, um, I'm actually turning down. I didn't get a chance to capture that much footage simply because it's been a jam-packed day. We had a lot of creativity workshops in the mastermind today, which was pretty fun. We had a workshop by a guest speaker, which was epic. She talked about TikTok, Instagram, and really how to show up on those platforms, um, utilizing our gift, and I'm gonna say magnetically attracting the people who we want to work with. Excuse me. And so that was so much fun. And so currently right now, I'm actually packing up my bags because I'm going to check out of the hotel um, on my way to the mastermind tomorrow. And then I'm actually going to drive home because I need to go into full blown mom mode. We have two kids and depending on what weekend it is, it requires for both kids to be dropped off at schools at the same time. 50 miles apart from each other, which means that both of us need to be all hands on deck. So I am going to go home on Thursday night so that I can drop my youngest son off. And then I actually just have to do two meetings. Of course, I'll be processing everything that I've learned in the mastermind and um, even beyond learning, just listening to my mastermind counterparts with like their hot seats in front of the room or maybe even conversations throughout the day with other individuals that are in the mastermind. It's just pretty nice to know that you can really learn about your business, growing and scaling your business, even through someone else's experience. And so I had some serious shifts and breakthroughs and I'm just really excited to sit down and build and remove some stuff in and or out of my business systems, funnels, product lines, because I have to make sure that I'm in full alignment with where my business is going for 2022. So um, I am going to wrap up the mastermind with day four, which is technically our day three, because day one we had guests, uh, which are called like integrators. Um, and I didn't have one right now because I had lost a team member recently, but nevertheless, we were still able to come in which we had a lot of activities talking about how to do team building. So that was still fun to witness. But nevertheless, we're officially on full blown day four because we've been there since Monday. And so stay tuned for behind the scenes. And I will also show you like some behind the scenes too um, in Instagram format of some of the things that we did. So tune in. everybody so it is day four of the mastermind it's pretty crowded in the parking lot um, but nevertheless got my tea got some popcorn and I'm about to go in here and eat a little bit of breakfast maybe some oatmeal get some fruit and have a seat and get ready to dive in so I know that I have like a laundry list of serious to do's <laughs> and intentional tasks like when I get back home um, some of the stuff I know that I was going to see if I can start listing that out while I was here but the majority of it honestly needs to be done when I get back to the office and so um, just excited to get in here it felt like we've been together for a whole week but I don't know if that's because it feels like daylight savings. There's no windows really in the room outside of the doors, which means that there's no sunlight and it gets dark like at 415. So with all that said, it just feels like we're in here for a long time, but then the days go by quick, but then it just feels like we've been together for a long period of time. So super excited to get this day started and I will do a wrap up at the end to let you know exactly how this went down. Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm looking crazy. So just wrapping up a last day of a mastermind, we have one more workshop 
um, to go, but um, needless to say, I have so much clarity. Um, it's been a interesting day, hence like my hair is going everywhere, but nevertheless, I wanted to go ahead and record this closing of this epic four day mastermind simply because it's already getting dark. It is 349, we're going into our last section. We were introduced to the 2022 mastermind and that was pretty fun to hear about all the epic things that are gonna be happening um, for next year. And so I definitely am be, I'm able to walk out with so much clarity, so much direction. I'm ready to take so much action with my team. And it's really nice to be in a safe space where I can be vulnerable, where I can open up, where I can talk about the ups and the downs of my business, which a lot of people don't ever want to talk about the downs, um, even deeper than what I go, you know, talk about on my podcast and things like that. And so I want to thank you for joining me on this epic journey over the last four days in Laguna and just tuning in to the behind the scenes of being a better version of myself, being a business owner, a wife, and a mom. I'll see you in the next episode.